She said five minutes. I got a watch just for the occasion. I talk a lot. Well, I apologize for my hair not being done. I'm superstitious about where I brush my hair and where it falls out. Because it's like little trees, I think. But uh, she said, talk a little bit about you something. I like to like talk about poems and stuff. But I ain't been doing it. I came to the first Res Beats. And I won't be able to come in December. Um, not at all. So if there's one in December, this will be the last one of the year I can get down on. So here I am. But uh, yeah, my name is Matthew. I wasn't brought up traditional or going to church. And I figured since I'm saying something about myself, I might as well be comfortable. My feet hurt. And I had my moccasins on last time, so it just feels kind of good to just keep it going without shoes on. And uh, yeah, happy Indigenous Natives Month. I'm Absentee Shawnee, Choctaw, Kickapoo, and Sioux. I've been applying for jobs. I'm looking for a job. I went to the tribal council and asked if they were looking for a medicine man. Maybe a backup dancer, because when I get going, I'm just, I can really get at it. I'm just like an overall round kind of guy who got slim. So hopefully I can get there. I'm not going to be like, what, what is it, governor? No, I can't be governor. I got to do something that's like kind of just low. But yeah, I figured that's why I'm kind of just aggressive sometimes because I wasn't brought up traditional. I'm missing all these things to be ending. So right now, I feel like I'm either a black guy or a white guy. I don't know who I am. <laughs> so like, I know bits and pieces. So it's like just a little seasoning of here. So I got, I got some flavor. So uh, I'm going to depart off of y'all some words that I know of. Uh, go call your grandma Gogoch. That's how we say it in Shawnee. And uh, Nyawe. Nyawe. That's how we say it. thank you. But uh, OK. Yes, I'm an angry guy. There are things missing in my life. I did not realize what kind of person I was up until fourth grade. And that was the first time I've heard the phrase wagon burner. And I kind of like how the vibes and the motions are going because I wasn't real sure if I was going to speak. I liked um, Asazu, uh, what's your name from Lion King or something? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, but uh, I was picked on too, and I figured because there's always something to be said from anybody, and if you're willing to listen, there's always something to be learned. And I, growing up, was always stretching out to raise my hand to answer a question, but I'm shy. I'm shy. I allowed myself to get picked on. It's not something to uh, just like let be growing up. At one point, we have to be confrontational. Not in the sense that we're trying to overtake and overwhelm. There's something stripped of us. We, we've, we're a people outside all the time, so there is a sort of confliction there that allows us to resolve what's going on. And I feel like I'm missing a lot of that. I feel like I'm stripped of it so much so that every time I go out into, into where I think my people used to come from. What time is it? Oh, I've got a minute and a half. Let's just break it down. So yeah, it's okay that you're picked on right now. It's okay. Speak up. There are people here to listen. I feel like I'm not a good person all the time, but I know I'm not a bad person all the time either. It's like I'm, I'm a mirror, and I get to channel my anger into whatever I feel helps. And I want to be a helpful person because I find out that's what I'm always going back to is to help. And I understand being in a classroom full of white people and them not knowing where you're coming from being brown. I come across that for like the first time in my life. And uh, yeah, my warriorness is just unlocked because I don't know how to be that warrior. And these young ones, um, we need to be there for them. I'm, I'm too shy of a person to just jump out there. And if you ever see me, which is weird, I know I stand out. It's like, holler at me, uh, say something if you need somebody to talk to. 
because uh, it's very hard to be a lonely Indian walking around. Uh, I feel it a lot, and uh, yeah, I don't got a poem tonight. I just got my heart to give y'all, and uh, yeah, I hope I hope somebody's doing good tonight. I hope. <laughs>